Hey guys, it's Victor, also known as Barracuda, and here's a quick video on how to place a stop loss order and also take profit order on Weeble. I personally believe having these are extremely important in trading, especially if you plan on day trading or short term trading in general. So there's two ways of placing the stop loss order, I'll show you right here. So let's make an order real quick. I'm willing to lose a cent or two just for you guys. So let's say I'm placing an order, right? So this is the order screen on Weeble. And right here I have, you know, my everything's pretty straightforward right here i have the stop loss order and a take profit order this is where the magic happens for stop losses so i have options of either doing it based off price like for instance if kodak the infamous kodak uh reaches 6.99 which is right under seven dollars i will immediately sell this one position of kodak that i have right but on the flip side if i have my limit price which is my take profit order in this case as let's say nine dollars or in this case, I usually like to put 8.99, 8.99, just because like $9 is a really hard amount and a lot of people try to sell right there. If it reaches to $8.99, I will really take profit and so it will sell my position at 8.99. So it's really nice to have kind of like this window right here. So if I'm staying between 6.99, right, which is my stop loss order, and my 8.99, which is my take profit order, we won't sell my position for me. But if I reach either or, it will either sell at either price point. So it's really important if you're short term trading just because the market's so volatile sometimes, especially if you're playing like these smaller cap size tickers. Also, you could also do it based off percentages. Uh, some people, especially if you're scalping or day trading, people like to have like hard percentage amounts. So either 5% or 10%. So let's say I'm placing this an order, right? Uh, let's say it's 7.878. So I'll place an order at 7.78, right? And I have it at 5% either up or down right so placing the order so we will automatically already generates what's considered five percent from my current position so look i've just bought a position now if you can see at either or of five percent it will sell my position which is really cool especially you don't want to do the quick math in your head all right and so the second way to do it is by simply just having a position right so let's say i already have my take profit stop loss here from the previous method let's cancel them which, by the way, you can cancel them too. Now, I click on the position I have right here, close by stop loss, take profit order. So this is already after I placed the position, right? And so now I can place it just like the other method, same exact way, percentages, dollar amount, pretty cool. Wanna switch it up, have a percentage upwards, but have a raw dollar amount downwards, bam. Look at that. And the coolest thing about it too is look at this. I can move it up. So let's just say I place my stop loss order at 7.68 because for whatever reason, let's say I'm looking at level two, which is also really important when you're doing this. Uh, there's like a pretty good amount, right? At 7.68. So move that down 7.67, right? Under that, that pretty big buy order right here. And let's say I'll move a take profit order right at 7.8. So regardless of other direction it reaches, right? it will sell at whatever price limit point it goes goes to. So I have like the small window. And so let's see what happens. Let's see, let's move this up just for the sake of the video. Look at that. So since Kodak's a little bit more volatile at that price right now, I'm not even allowed to take the stop loss order because it's so close. So when you're placing stop losses, you have to make sure to place it a little bit well under the current price level it's at for whatever ticker you're playing. All right, and just like that, my stop loss was, you know, activated. And so that's really important to protect yourself when you're playing these highly volatile stocks or you're just like day trading or scalping, you know, protecting your loss is extremely important. Also, one thing I just wanted to say too is that you can't place stop loss orders or take profit orders in aftermarket and pre-market. So that's why people usually don't like to play either or just because it's a little bit dangerous because you don't have like these safety nets already in place for you. However, one exception to that is you can place a stop limit order, just a raw stop place limit order. So let's say I had a position, right? Well, let's say I'm buying one right now again, 7.69. It's not, but it's take profit or stop loss order. Let's just buy it at that price, boom. All right, 7.69. So when I close an order, I press close order, time and force, good to close. Basically, this price point, let's say I'm wanting to sell at 7.99 or 8.9, just to be safe. Extended hours, yes, I want to make sure you have that, good to close. 
So basically, until you cancel this order, this order will stay in place. So regardless of its pre-market, regardless of its after hours, it will still always be in place. So it's really important, especially if you think, you know, <clears throat> sometimes in pre-market after hours, things go up really fast. Uh, this will ensure your sell at 7.89. If you're watching this video and really enjoy what Weeble has to offer, I have a referral link in the description below. If you sign up and fund at least $100 in your account, we both get two free stocks worth between $12 and $1,400. Thanks for watching this video. Let me know if you have any quests or questions. Happy trading!